Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration I'll go ahead and import this list to SharePoint so that we get all the data and also I will display how to connect these two to each other. These two lists that I have one here, a customers list and then a countries list. So I'm going to export both those two into SharePoint and then connect them and make a rather nice display of that in SharePoint. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table here or the same thing can be done here, format as a table and I'll just select any layout there because and select that my table has headers. This works well as long as the table has no uh, empty columns or empty rows. So then the next step I'm actually going to remove all the formatting here of it but I still want to retain it as a table and I see that it is a table in the eyes of Excel in that this table tools tab of the ribbon is visible and that ribbon gives me this export feature export table to SharePoint list so I'm going to do that and I'm just going to insert the URL I have the URL here already this happens to be an a site on SharePoint.com, which is Office 365, but this would work both uh, if you had an internal website or on Office 365, of course. I'm not going to create a read-only connection at this time. I'm just going to export this into the, a list called Customers, and then I'm going to go and click Next, and then I'll have a preview of how this is going to be rendered in SharePoint. And there we go. You see all the information is actually transferred there, but I do have a couple of problems here that there are multiple lines in some of these customer name etc. and also in phone number. can change that here, but uh, once we're in SharePoint I will indeed change that. So I'm going to finish this and now Excel is adding rows to my SharePoint site. There you see that went rather fast, but uh, the table was successfully published and may be viewed etc. So I'm going to click on this link now and go out to the website and there we go the customers list it's open there, there in a second and as you see this opens up now in the data sheet view which is nice um, but uh, I'm going to change the views later so uh, the first thing I'm going to do now is notice that the contact first name can't be sorted and it can't be filtered upon uh, because it's a multiple row and the same thing with a lot of fields here and, and of course I do want them to be sortable so what I'm going to do is go into the list settings and find the fields that are available in this list and as you see several of them are multiple lines of text so I'm going to go into customer name and if I first change them to plain text and click OK then go into them again you'll see that I can actually change a multiple line field to a single line field. So I'm going to do that a couple of times now, back and forth here, contact first name, so plain text, and again on there. contact last name, same thing. So this gets a bit res repetitive, of course, but um, it's better than entering the data again, of course. Just a few more clicks now. There we go, now I have the city and the phone number to do the same thing with. There we go, and the city again. And finally, the phone number. Two clicks on that too. Plain, first to plain text, and then to single line. All right, there we go. I'm going to click OK on that. So there I have all my customers now. And the second problem I see here is that my customers list is actually not visible in the quick launch. I can change that over here. Title, description, navigation, and put it in the quick launch. And there you see the customers end up there. I'm also going to go ahead and click create a new view. I can do that here, create view. And I'm just going to do a standard view because I want the standard to be there. I want uh, the standard to be a non data sheet view. The list. And I'll make that the default. And I'll click OK. That worked out just fine. And now, as you see, this is the default view now. I'm going to go back to Excel and do the same with the countries list. First of all, I'm going to insert a heading, right clicking on that and just writing country there. 
And now I'm going to format this as a table too. It's fine, and it has headers, beautiful. And then I'm going to export that to SharePoint on the same site. And I'm going to call this Countries. And do next. It's just going to take a few seconds. And then now that's a single line, so that's good. We don't have to do that again. So there we go, now we have that list also. And I'll do the go ahead and click on that too. Go do the same thing with that. I'll change it to um, non data sheet view and I'll put it out on the quick launch so I go into the list settings and change the navigation to make it display on the quick launch and save that and now we have the countries there I'm also going to create a view and in this case I'm going to create a more compact view since there's only one so it will be a standard view I'll make the default and I'll call it the countries list list okay that's fine and I don't want to have any type and any attachments either, just the country item there. And I'm going to be uh, make it a well, the style um, boxed. That will be fine. And then click OK. There we go. As I said, I wanted to connect these two now. I have the customers and the countries. In the customers list, I already have one field here with the country, right? But that's not connected to the countries list in any way now. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the list tab here and create a new column. And I'm going to call that country lookup. And it's going to be a lookup based on information already on this site. And that's going to be the countries list. And of course I'm going to uh, pick the country field of that. And I'm going to add that to the default view. Now to get this information from the one column to the other, I'm just going to go into datasheet view and here you have the countries li list there and the country lookup and the lookup as you see is, is connected to the countries list beautiful but what I want to do is just copy this information over there and I'll um, select the entire column right click and select copy and then right click and paste over there there we go then I have all the information there looks great actually managed to get an empty row there I will go ahead and delete that Anyhow, now and now I don't need the country column here, I just need the country lookup, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the country single line field here, which I don't need. So I'm going to click on that, and then just do delete. Now, the final step is actually connecting these, and I will do that on a new page. I'm just going to create a new page here on my SharePoint 2010 site. I'm going to call that um, country race and customers. So in that page now, I'm just going to go in and insert some web parts. And first I'm going to insert the countries list. And let's see, list and libraries, here we go. And I have a countries list there, and I'm just going to add that there. This uh, web parts selector dialog might look a bit different, but depending on what SKU of um, SharePoint you have, and etc. If you have Silverite, but uh, it does the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other one also the customers list. Again on the insert tab I click on the in the, the web parts button there and I'm gonna add the customers there from the list and library selection there. Now in order to connect these two so I can actually click a country up here and um, get the uh, appropriate customers a bit further down I'm just gonna go ahead and go into edit mode of the country web part here. Now you see this is kind of out of the picture here. So there we go. Now I'm going to go into edit mode of this web part. And once I'm in edit mode of the web part, I can go ahead and apply a connection between these two. And that the, the web part task pane will appear to the right here, but I'm actually not going to use that now. I'm just going to use the this little selector here, and I'm going to provide the row from the countries list to the customers list. And now a small wizard will appear, which will allow me to connect these two. There we go. I'm going to select the column in the countries list to the filter customers and of course the only column available in countries is country but in the customers list there's lots of columns there so I'm going to select country lookup and then we're going to go next and that's the end of that so now you see I get these little selectors here and first of all I'm going to go ahead and save the page still loading there we go there we go now it's saved save and close and now I can go ahead and select a, con a country here, so let's select Sweden for example. And you'll see at the bottom here we have all the Swedish customers. Select uh, Switzerland, I get the Swiss ones. 
etc etc so quite a bit of functionality there showing both how to import data from Excel and how to uh, create some new views and to how to connect two web parts to each other thank you for watching this demonstration